Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Catalan Automation Tutorial. So as you all know, I have already published around 19 YouTube videos covering different topics related to Catalan Automation. So I would recommend you guys to please visit my previous videos before you watch this session. So in this session, this is our lesson 20 where I am going to cover the topics related to global variables and local variables. I am going to teach you how can we define the global variables and local variables by using Catalan and then how can we use the local variables and the global variables in Catalan and what is the difference between local variables and the global variables in terms of Catalan. Okay, so please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you so our agenda item first we are going to understand how to use the local variables and also i'm going to show you an example by automating a test case with the help of local variables and also we are going to understand how to use the global variables. How can we define and use the global variables? And then I'm going to show you by automating a test case, how can we call the global variables while automating the test case? And then we are going to execute the test case also. Okay. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we implement the local variables and global variables by using Catalan, okay, while automating our test cases. Okay, so this is my uh, Catalan studio, okay. So first, to understand local variables, that is our first uh, topic, to understand local variables, if you remember correctly, we have automated a simple end-to-end -end test case where the registration of the user, so you register with the email ID, your full name and then you are going to provide your address uh, so that you can be registered to one of the website okay so the registration process we already automated okay let me yeah, here is the test case that we automated in, a, in my previous sessions so i have already published around 20 plus videos on catalan right so i would recommend you guys to go through those videos before you watch this session okay so let me simply run this particular test case to understand what is the test case that we automated okay so i just clicked on run so it's going to open one website okay and then it's going to complete registration process of a user okay so it's opened so it's going to enter your full name it sets the password and now you need to provide your identification details country, address, email, phone number. So it's going to provide all these details and complete the registration process. Okay. See, it's providing all the information and then submit. Right. So that's the test case that we automated. If you see here, we are providing full name, password, address, email ID. These are all the hard coded values. Right. So now let us define the local variables to store these values instead of sending the hard coded text i want to pass the variables which are local variables if you go to the script mode you can see this is all the script that is corresponding corresponding to this particular test case right so let's go to variables so how can we define local variables to define the local variables you need to open your corresponding test case See, this is my test case. Within the test case, you can see a sub tab called variables. You need to click on variables. Okay. So let me add the variables. What is my first variable I want to add? Full name, address, email, and phone. Right. Let's go to variables tab. Click on add. Okay. Name this as full name right provide the value as let's say i want to provide it as ravi reddy 
okay and the second one is address my second variable name is address and the type is so you have all these types right it supports string number billion global variables and all these things okay a string and then let me define this as blank street okay and let me add another variable the variable name is email ravi at outlook.com okay and then phone okay 706 one more. okay 7067485465 okay so let's save these variables now so let's go back to our test case again so here instead of hard coding i need to call these local variables this is called as local variable because these variables are defined within the test case okay so you can call these variables within the test case only within the test case in any step you can call okay so here full name instead of hard coding i want to change this to variable how double click here and here if you see my parameter name is text correct parameter type is string and value type is string here instead of string I would like to select it as variable and here the value if you see it will it is going to show all the variables that we have defined under variable tab okay this is my full name click ok so instead of Chandrakan now it is actually replaced with full name in the same way address here double click on this address change the variable type to variable and change the value pick the value from the variable name so what is the variable name for which stores the address this is the variable name that we define correct click ok and email also change the variable type to variable and here select the variable name email that we defined earlier in the same way phone change the variable type to variable and select the variable name that we just now defined as phone click ok right save the test case so if you see all these are of the variables that we already defined full name address email phone in the same way full name address email phone so now all the values should come from here ravi ready address should be this ravi now if i run the test case these values should be taken from variables remember these values ravi ready ravi at the rate of outlook right so now let's the run the test case now if i run the test case it is gonna take all the values from the local variables that we define okay so if you see here already on top it is showing all the default names here that means the variables local variables so let me just see here so it should check it should take as Ravi Reddy that's correct and here email id address should be whatever the values that we defined in the variables okay so here the address see blank street ravi at the rate outlook so that means it is taking all the values from local variables that we define so now what is our next agenda our next agenda is defining global variables so the difference is local variables that you can use within the test case but the global variables you can call in any of the test case so you can call those global variables in multiple test cases and global variables can be defined as environment variables also so the global variables you can define for each and every environment as well okay 
So how can we define global variables? Okay, if you see on the top, there is a module called profiles, right? So these profiles also called as environments. Basically, you can define the environments here. So right click here and click new and click execution file, new execution file. I want to name this as pre-prod, okay? I want to name this as pre-prod. Let's say we are automating the test cases in our pre-prod environment. Now, each environment might have their own test data sets. The same test data cannot be used in different environments in real time, right? See, if I'm using a test data in QA environment, I cannot use the same in, uh, test data in the pre-prod environment, right? The test data might change, okay? So I created pre-prod environment. Now, I want to define the same variables, whatever, the local variables that we define here, right? Full name, address, email, phone. So the same variables I'm going to define at environment level, okay? Let's add here, same full name. Put the name as this time, Chendu. Instead of Ravi Reddy, I'm naming as Chendu Reddy, okay? So to differentiate between the global and local, I'm changing the values so that you will understand whether it is calling global variables or local variables. Now let's add address and put the address as 111 test street instead of blank street I am putting as test street and the next one is email so this time instead of Ravi at the rate outlook I am going to put as Chandu at the rate outlook done let me add phone as well Let's start with 8. Okay. So let's save this. So what is the environment? We defined all these variables under environment called pre-prod. Under profile or environment called pre-prod. Now let's go back to our old test case again. Here now instead of calling my local variable. So let me do one thing. Let me name this, rename this as local variables. So let me copy this. Okay. Let me copy this. Okay. Let me copy this test case and then paste it here. And I want to rename this, rename this as global variables. Okay, rename this as global variables. Okay, so now for test case global variables, instead of calling my local variables, correct, local variables, I want to call global variables. How? You need to just click here and here instead of variable, now you are going to define as global variable and now you see it displays all the variables that you define. Oh no, before this, I forgot to mention one more thing. So before going ahead with this, we have to change the environment here. So if you see on top here, okay, on run, debug and all these things, if you see here, this is your execution profile. So what is the execution profile that is defined? Defined as default. So if you see in the default, you have a different, you don't have variables, right? So now here, I want to change the environment to pre-prod. See here the profile. I want to change it to pre-prod. Now let's go back to our test case and double click on full name. Now here change it to 
global variable. Now if you see here, you should get all the values that we defined here. Correct? Full name. Okay. Click OK. And here, address. Under address also, I want to call this as global variable. And here, I want to take address. This is my global variable. If you see here, global variable. Email. Instead of variable, select global variable and select email from the global variables. In the same way, phone, global variables and here phone as global variable. Click OK. And if you see here, if you go to your script mode, here if you see, see here, it is actually calling. See, set the text, set text so and so, object repository, global variable, full name. In the same way, global variable address, global variable dot email, global variable dot phone, correct? So here, this is our global variable dot full name, right? Save this now. So if I execute, see, my environment is pre-prod. You need to make sure you select pre-prod environment, then only execute the test cases. Okay, let's execute the test case and see if it is going to take the values from the global variables. So it started test case execution. It's It opens your browser. It should not call local variables now. Okay, it should go everything Chandu ready. See, Chandu ready. And then uh, the address should be test street, 111 test street. That should come from global variable. Even though there is a local variables defined, but it's not going to take the local variables. See, 111 test rate, change the rate what look. And phone number starts with 8. So that means we are able to successfully call the global variables. Let's assume if I want to call the same global variables in previous test case. Simply you can change the here also. So that means I just want to prove you can call these global variables in n number of test cases. Any test case. Let's call here also. Let me run here also. Okay. Address, global variable, and then select address. So basically, I'm changing my previous test case also to call the global variables. Okay. This is your email and this is your phone. Click OK and save this and now run this. Even this test case should take the variables from global. So basically it should consider global variables. So you can call the global variables from any test case. And local variable is applicable for particular test case, within the test case. You can call within the test case. See, Chandu Reddy. So it's taking from the global variables. Okay. So hope you all understand the difference between local variables and the global variables in terms of Catalan. See, it is executing. It is taking all the global variables. And then how can you use or how can you define the local variables and global variables and how can you call those variables in different test cases so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you